So here's my comments from YouTube. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. I had a comment about says something about having a master's degree. SVT says lying on your resume will get you nowhere, but understanding that a lot of your experience parallels the listed job requirements. Bruce details this in this course. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Well, I could not have said that better myself. He says, I'm not trying to tell you to lie in your resume. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to have you extract all the security experience that you already have and put that in, highlight that in your resume. That's what I'm trying to have you do because that's all I've done. Whenever I've transitioned from one, I've been in like three different fields. Like I literally put together Arcsight systems. That was my job. And then I also did security and analyst work, cybersecurity analyst work which is very different from compliance. And that's the other one I did, compliance. And also was a field tech at one time, a Unix administrator and a field tech. I did four different positions and the, the way that I did each one, and I was also a network engineer. The way I did each one was I, I would take my resume, I'd redo it to where it highlights all the networking stuff I did. If I wanted to do network engineering, I would highlight all the networking stuff I did. Like I would think, okay, what job was I in? Okay, I was in this job. I remember I did this with networking and then I would just highlight that. I would be at the top, I'd reword it. And then if I was doing compliance, of course I got tons of stuff from compliance that I've been doing over the years. I just was focused, okay, I remember I was at Ball Aerospace. What did I do for compliance? All right, I remember I helped them write a policy. You gotta think about all the stuff you've done with compliance. If you're trying to do forensics, same thing. You gotta think about all the things that you've done with forensics. If it's nothing, then of course you gotta do some work in forensics to get in there. <laughs> I had a question from, oh, okay, here it is right here. Before I get to that, SVT says, it is very likely that there are literally tons of things that you do every day that are exactly the same as security work. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Like a lot of IT guys, they approach me, especially a lot of military guys, they'll approach me and say, Bruce, like I'm getting out of the military or, I'm, I'm telling, I get so many people telling me this, so many. I get it on LinkedIn, I get it on email, I get it on like, and I tell them, okay, well, send me your resume, let me take a look at it. If I have time, I'll do it for free sometimes. I'll look at it and it's like all this IT experience and it's like all they had to do was make a small adjustment. But that means they got to know the industry a little bit because I don't know what they've done and it's not written down, it's not documented. So all I do is I tell them, look, what security stuff have you done? Well, I don't know. I haven't done any. Okay. Have you ever, I mean, simple things like I don't, I bring this example up all the time because everybody does it. Have you ever updated a system? Like, have you ever put a patch on a Microsoft system? Yes. Well, that's, that's cybersecurity. That's a security. You've implemented a security control. Maybe if you write it like this, you know, <laughs> or virus definitions everybody does that if you happen to have been in it for any number of months at some point you updated the signatures on the antivirus software that's on your computer if you've done that then you got to put that on your resume if you did it a thousand times for an entire floor of systems guess what you got to put that on your resume ones that you trivialize the most is whenever you get a call from those people you hate and despise the policy guys that's me. That is me. Those policy guys is me. Those guys you hate that tell you, hey, we're trying to get this compliance. We've got this SEA coming soon, this audit coming. Like, I need this or that description from you. Could you describe this or that firewall? Or could you describe this? Those guys that you hate their guts, that's me. Those guys make pretty good money, by the way. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is whenever you've helped them, whenever you've put given them a description, you've helped to get an ATO. You've helped because they're reaching to you because you're the subject matter expert on whatever you're doing in, in the SOC. This is like reaching to you and saying, hey, when you guys are on night shift, are you guys gathering this or that log, right? And it sounds like it's just a trivial thing, but you've actually ha are helping them to get the ATL for their system or an authorization for their system. So you can actually put that on your resume because that's what you did.